Ah. Hey everybody, YouTube, internet, how you guys doing? Shimmy from the Shimmy Show back today. I got a real special episode today. I got a book from Amazon called The Rules. Ooh. The Rules by Ellen Fine and Sherry Schneider. Millions of copies sold, the sticker says. And it says, time-tested secrets for capturing the heart of Mr. Wright. It says all this right on the cover. In case you guys think I'm bullshitting or whatever. Now, this is the second copy I've bought of this book. I bought a used copy once and I wanted to buy a brand new copy to support the authors and their work since it's had such a... It's had such an impact on my life, you know? This is a testimonial or whatever. I'm giving props to the author. I hope they sell a billion fucking copies if they haven't already, right? So, my relationship with that book, I first seen it in the year 1999. I believe it was 99, it could have been 98, but I think it was 99. A copy of this book, it fell out of my ex-wife Geneva's suitcase in the closet uh, after we moved into this new house I had bought. And I didn't really read the fine print of the book at the time. We, we hadn't been married yet, but uh, we got married about six months later or some shit like that. But all that I remember seeing was just the rules on the cover. I didn't see the small print or whatever, right? So this book falls onto the floor of the closet while we're both in this closet of this empty house. And I'm like, hmm, what the fuck's that? Because uh, Geneva, my ex-wife, she did not... Uh, she only owned about like four or five books the whole time I've known her, right? So I've always wondered, you know, why do people like hide shit in closets, suitcases and stuff like that? And what's the big deal? So I questioned her about the book and she was like, oh, my rich auntie gave it to me or something like that. You know how narcissists play shit off pretty good. And I took it upon face value because I had no reason to like doubt her or no shit like that you know you're in love whatever you shouldn't have to question what somebody else says to you on face value so here we are now uh, was it 2018 roughly 19 years later I bought another copy of this book on Amazon so I could read it for myself right and basically this book is like a manual it's a uh, manual written by two feminist Jewish authors or at least one of them the well, Fine and Schneiders are definitely Jews, so... <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, they're highly intelligent women who wrote a book about how to manipulate men and how to trick them into marrying you, hypergamy and shit like that. And the end result now, if you were to look at my ex-wife's life and my wife... My wife, my life now... Uh, who's the clear-cut winner here? You know, it's like, if your whole... If your whole game is based on deception, hypergamy, female, uh, sexual marketplace value, all that, capturing Mr. Right, which basically means to them in this book, Mr. Right basically means just like a man they can control who has money and resources at his disposal. Uh, so I can understand their argument, you know, for having children, family, and all that shit. Alpha male, all that bullshit, how... Uh, I've read that only uh, only like 20% of men, like women pick from the top 20% of men in society. So my research is like showing to prove or whatever. So the fact that if you're a guy and you got married or had kids, it means that you're probably in the top 20% of men where you live at because, you know, the other 80%, they're working, don't have a girlfriend, can't get a date. They don't even have woman problems or they're not even into this shit. So this is like more of like... Uh, for girls that want to capture like an elite cream of the crop guy and who could, who could blame them per se, right? But the problem with that is when you base your relationship in your life and you have children and clone yourself with someone uh, who you don't really care about or respect, uh, it's not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to abuse that man. You're going to uh, you're going to deplete that man's resources. In my case, talking about myself, you're going to be physically violent toward that man. You're going to accuse him of all types of things he didn't do. You're going to run him through the court system. You're going to project your own insecurities on him. You're going to make him fat. You're going to tell him he's a loser. All this. I'm not alone here, but I'm just telling my own story of uh, 
narcissistic abuse at the hands of a woman who read this like instruction manual basically how to tear a man apart is really what it is so I'm really encouraging guys to go and pick this book up uh, you could buy it on Amazon and they'll let you read like the first one third of it or some shit like that but it's definitely it's nine dollars brand new highly recommend it um, it's really recommended for any time that you're studying something you want to study the inverse or the other counter argument of it or whatever I would say uh, like if you're a super devout Christian, Muslim, Jew, Buddhist, whatever, study the polar opposite of whatever you're taught. That way you can learn what people who are in opposition to what you're talking about are, uh, you know, where they're coming from. So this is a very good playbook. The Rules by Ellen Fine. Um, basically, it's, I'll look at the table of contents here. Uh, I really like, like the first chapter says, don't discuss this book with your therapist. That's kind of like a red flag within itself here. But, uh, let's see, uh, the first product, you, don't stare at men or talk too much, don't do this, don't call him, don't return his calls, don't do, it's basically like a bunch of do's and don'ts, if you guys can see the, uh, screen or the index or the chapter card, whatever, you know, my book now, so I'm breaking the spine, crack, it's broken, the spine is broken, <laughs> so anyway, uh, good book so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and talk about some shit today my personal story with the rules and the woman programmed by the rules and uh, how you can maybe uh, use my information to your advantage or whatever you know if you're a guy uh, how about this I, I would direct this show or this podcast or this YouTube or whatever I upload this thing to to the, say the top 20% of guys so that basically means this isn't for most guys. This is for guys that already have a relationship, a significant other, long-term girlfriend, or maybe you don't have a girlfriend or a wife, but you own your business. You're in, your time is independent. You have resources. You're a homeowner. You're a landowner. You have a bunch of cars or something, or you have something that generates income for you. And this is very attractive for women in many cases, you know, because a lot of times they don't have these things for themselves. They don't want to go and work for it for themselves. They just want to go and have kids before they can't anymore from what I'm learning. So, in learning in, in learning all this, it's like, uh, well, it makes me question why doesn't why doesn't a woman just want to go ahead and do the fucking work? It's, just put in the hours and go work two or three jobs, go start a business, go do whatever. But they don't want to do that shit. They'd much rather go and jack your shit. So, yeah, it's the question is, do you really want to uh, spend your life with people like this? The, and I think to myself, like, how much further could I have been down the road now? if I would not have had a partner that was totally out to destroy me and uh, everything that I'm working for. It's kind of like if you're if you're married to someone that's on this shit, it's like you're building a sandcastle and they're going to kick it over every night or whatever and you start over from scratch every morning and you do this for 5, 10, 20 years and you realize you haven't built anything. The, the beach sand or whatever has washed it all away and yeah, so if you if you if you're literally sleeping with the enemy and you have a partner that's undermining every business goal that you have every employment every everything that you might imagine as a man to get you and your family over the hump you know if she's spending money faster than you make it or she has no education about fine no financial literacy at all she doesn't even know how finance and the outside world works to her, you know, it's like, wow, you're literally giving your future to like a fucking six-year-old girl mentally, you know, they have no desire to even learn how credit works or how the system operates or how interest works or, you know, these are the kind of people that go and rent furniture and rent refrigerators and appliances and pay weekly payments for a fucking sofa or something like that. It's like ridiculous, you know, and, um, uh, when you involve, if you're if you're a higher functioning person, and all people are created equal. But if you have more knowledge and experience than another person, they should submit to you regardless. You know, I'll, I'll submit to any man, woman, child, or whoever is more experienced than me in a certain area, if they have that like knowledge. But in my particular case, being that I got married young at like 19 or 20 or something like that, I think it was 19. Uh, yeah, I did not have the experience, relationship, or professional-wise, or whatever. I had the money, had the business experience, but I was lacking in social, social, uh, 
what do you want to call it? Social skills. I just, I didn't date a lot because focusing on business, you don't tend to do that. It's like most people that are really good in the business world or even in academics or sports or whatever, they're very deficient in other areas of your life. It's like you're trying to, uh, like in a video game, they'll let you allocate stats to your character in certain older Nintendo games, I guess. You know, you could like allocate three points to speed or one point to strength endurance, another point to special ability or some shit. It's like, depending on how you balance your characters, uh, whatever in the get-go, that determines your outcome in life in many cases. So I'm just saying to all you guys out there, um, if you're in a fucked up relationship, please end it as soon as possible for your own mental safe, safety, sanity, and whatever, and before your own life is destroyed, before you're fucking 300 plus fucking pounds, disabled, fat, in a fucking hospital bed, wheelchair, nursing home, living in some other country where you don't have any rights. I mean, I've done it all myself, so it's like, your life, I'm telling guys out there, like, your life is worth more than whatever no good girl of a partner trying to be nice about it here your life is worth so much more than what people will uh let you think what it is as men get older basically too i've, I've from what i'm reading here at least on youtube and internet and whatever it's like our our lives are actually exponentially more valuable than women because we earn more money throughout our careers businesses and all this shit so even though if you're 30 40 whatever 50 60 even now it's only going to get better you know, you always have time to work on yourself, work out, uh, improve your health, fitness, money. You can, you can improve a lot of shit, whereas in many cases, women elect not to, you know. From what I'm reading now, a lot of women who are like my age now, they're, they're very much... Uh, the fuck did this guy in the YouTube here talking about here? There's a... I need to play the video before I fully comment on it, but there's a guy on YouTube talking about women hitting the wall and this and that. And uh, I do realize that everyone's looks change. I don't look the same as I was when I was like 15 or whatever, though I'm trying my best to like be as neotonous as possible and <laughs> feel that way, you know. But uh, women, on the other hand, most, most can't mentally handle their body changing or lack of guys like paying attention to them and shit like that and it makes a lot of them like you know batshit crazy turn into crazy cat ladies and shit because their power over men that they've had all their life has basically like vanished as they these guys think because their bodies fall apart and this and that i don't really think it's based on that i think it's really more of a mental breakdown of them not seeing themselves as they maybe they once saw themselves or uh them seeking external validation and by that i mean like if guys are not hollering at them hey 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 and if guys are not just like giving them free shit like they might have been accustomed to all their life they're going to feel a little less powerful of course and the end result is this like female rage shit or some 